The first day, we traveled through five different states, Georgia, Alabama, and then into Mississippi, Louisiana, and then Texas. Um, this weekend, we actually saw two bowls. Um, this is the Independence Bowl, which is in Shreveport, Louisiana. It was played between Colorado and Alabama. Um, when I say we saw it, we saw the outside of it driving by. And this is actually the first exit number in the state of Texas, so that's a big state, 635 miles. On Monday, we just went down to the stadium, um, checked out the outside, kind of drove around to get our bearings. Lots of people there just taking pictures and whatnot. Then we went downtown, ran into the KOMU News Vehicle, that's the NBC station in Columbia, but uh, didn't see any of the staff members. Then we ate lunch at the world's largest Hooters. Um, the Hooters was pretty big, but the Hooters were pretty much normal size. Speaking of Hooters, the Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders were in the New Year's Parade down in Dallas. Um, I actually botched a photo of the Grand Marshal of the parade, um, who was Emmett Smith, uh, to get this, this picture here. This is my good pal Brady Deaton, the Chancellor of the University of Missouri, uh, the cheerleaders, and of course the Mizzou float. After the band went by, all the Mizzou fans jumped into the street with them and just kind of followed them right on up to where the pep rally was going to be. Uh, it was really, really cool. Then was the pep rally. These are my boys, Derek and Kurt. You'll see them there again in a minute playing the drums, but lots of people just out in the street. The band played and the cheerleaders were out in full force and just real exciting, getting everybody pumped up for the game. There's Kurt and Derek again in the drum line. It was actually pretty chilly on game day, about 40 or 45 degrees uh, there in Dallas. Uh, Warm-ups and of course there's Run DMC, Darren McFadden. Got hooked up with a Cadillac from Mike Conley Sr. Of course, the boys getting ready to play. There's the Mizzou fans in Arkansas. It was a sellout crowd by the time the game started. And there they go, taking the field. Arkansas won the coin toss and uh, elected to receive, but that's about the only thing they won. And there's the opening kickoff. Of course, Mizzou came out on top, taking it down 38-7. And coming out as 2008 AT&T Cotton Bowl champions, ranked number four in the nation in the final polls. Of course, the player of the game was running back Tony Temple, ran for 281 yards and four touchdowns, both of which are Cotton Bowl records. Broke Dickie Magel's record. He actually had to ask Coach Pinkle at the press conference um, who Dickie Magel was, so that shows you how long ago that record has stood. And there the boys go, celebrating the win. And, of course, the Cotton Bowl Trophy for Coach Pinkle and the boys. They're going to bring it back on home to Columbia, doing us proud down in Dallas.